Well, as Sri Lanka offers assistance to Turkey for rescue and search operation, uh, it is also reported that uh, in Turkey, in the area, there are nine Sri Lankans living there. To find out the latest on the situation as Turkey and Syria quakes um, have claimed over 2,000 lives so far, I've invited to join us live the Sri Lankan ambassador in Turkey, Ambassador Hasanti Urugorovata Desanayaka, a very warm welcome to you, Ambassador. Uh, a severe situation, tough situation, um, tragic. How do you feel? What is the ground situation there, as you may share with us now? Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, people are really worried, and uh, it's a very large area, like uh, the, it's about uh, one fifth of uh, the country. Uh, looks like is affected because of this tragedy uh, it's uh, it happened uh, close to the syrian border and uh, it's uh, uh, in the uh, south southeast of the country mm -hmm. and uh, there are key major provinces which are affected and out of that the uh, first uh, uh, three earthquakes happened in uh, uh, kaharaman maras province and gaziantep and uh, Adana province was also affected. So first, what we did was we were checking on uh, Sri Lankans who are there, mostly uh, it's students. And out of nine that uh, we have records of, eight are okay, uh, which we are relieved about. And uh, the the last person, the uh, that lady, uh, uh, first we got information was in a building that collapsed but then we got information that everyone in that building has gone out then we got again information saying that uh, her mobile phone was found so we mm -hmm. are actually not sure how her situation is but we are uh, in uh, touch with the turkish authorities uh, to uh, find out her whereabouts and then in the interim uh, i mean there are earthquakes continuously happening uh, after the morning earthquake in kaharaman maras uh, at 1.24, there was another earthquake there. Uh, that was also 7.6 uh, in richer scale. And that was also felt in Ankara, some uh, uh, minor uh, tremor, we felt it. And um, then uh, in between uh, uh, surrounding areas, there are small tremors happening. Uh, some are above four degrees uh, in the richer scale. And uh, then there was a, a little bit of higher magnitude uh, earthquake happened in an area called close to Kayaseri, uh, which is not so far away from uh, from Ankara. Right. And there we have five students, uh, and we have information that all those five students are safe. Uh, but we are monitoring the situation because uh, uh, still uh, the earthquakes, the tremors after shocks are continuing. Um, Ambassador, and, you're uh, based. Yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Ambassador. You're based in uh, Ankara, and do you have Ankara. have you all yeah. felt the uh, tremors or any after effects of these quakes? Slightly, slightly. When uh, when the first uh, earthquake happened in Karaman Maras, that was felt, and then again at one th uh, twenty-four, that was also seven point six. That was also felt in um, Ankara, mm -hmm. uh, slightly. You know. Uh, about the Sri Lankans, you said there are nine. Is is that is that the total uh, Sri Lankans based in Turkey, or are there many? Are you referring to the number that is in the affected areas? Uh, we have about two hundred and seventy Sri Lankans uh, uh, living in uh, Turkey, mostly uh, in Istanbul, and most of them are students. And there are a few who are working as well. Uh, the numbers that I referred are the ones which we, whom we have records of living in and around the most affected areas. So altogether, it's 14 now uh, who are living in and around uh, the affected areas. Out of that, 13 are confirmed uh, fine. It's only one person that uh, we are trying to find out the situation of. But we right. are continuously monitored because uh, uh, earthquakes and the tremors are happening. So nine, 13 students out of them, uh, there's one that uh, that the embassy is trying to verify information of and to know the whereabouts, but the rest of them are all students. Is that, is, have I got no, the no, information no, right? Are, uh, no, uh, it's uh, the 14 people, it is a mixed group, like community plus mm -hmm. students. Okay. Majority and and the one person who is students. missing, is that a student or uh, no, uh, a somebody student. who is on work uh, visa? It's a lady, lady married to a 
a Turkish gentleman who had passed away. And uh, her, I understand that her daughter is living in Istanbul. So we are in touch with her and some friends of this lady uh, to ascertain the situation as well. All this information we got through uh, 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 daughter and one of uh, this lady's friends. Right. Uh, but uh, we are also now in touch with the Turkish authorities, uh, disaster management uh, people, um, to find out her whereabouts. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sri Lanka has at the same time offered to uh, um, support Turkey in search uh, rescue uh, services. Now, uh, Sri Lankan Foreign Minister, President's Council Ali Sabri conveyed to the ambassador, the Foreign Minister of Turkey uh, earlier on the instructions of the President. Uh, how is this, uh, what's the uh, level of uh, conversation and communication that's ongoing is this through the embassy or uh, is there any efforts ongoing that Sri Lanka has dispatched services as yet I think uh, uh, when the, uh, the information uh, was received by our minister because uh, he also knows that uh, Turkish foreign minister well uh, it has been uh, communicated and uh, I'm waiting for further instructions from the foreign ministry to follow up on it. In fact, we also have recommended uh, 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 support uh, from some sort of support from Sri Lanka towards Turkey and, uh, you know, uh, expressing our solidarity and all that uh, at the highest levels. Uh, we've uh, recommended from this mission as well. Right. Thank we you very much. Yeah. Sorry to you. Yes, thank you very much, Ambassador, for sharing your um, thoughts and the update on the Sri Lankans, uh, their situation. Thank you for sharing. And uh, other than that, we'll stay in touch with you for an update on uh, the Sri Lankans living in Turkey.